Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying the EdCollab gathering. I'm Christopher Lehman, the founding director of the Educator Collaborative, and I'm really excited to share with you some of our upcoming professional learning opportunities for 2016-2017. Everything we do follows our motto, collaboration creates opportunity. So here are our new offerings. First of all, we're returning with another year of virtual think tank. Our virtual think tanks are intensive, small group, online, over web conference, collaborative meetings. Uh, or in other words, you get to meet with colleagues from literally around the world with some of our friends at the Ed Collab working together to study important topics across the year. This next year, we're starting with three. Uh, my colleague and friend Kate Roberts is joining me to lead close reading grades K to 5. Kristen Zemke and Katherine Hale will be returning with their always very popular uh, think tank on using technology and literacy. And Dr. Dana Stokowiak is back leading a group for coaches and leaders on strong instructional coaching practices that she's calling CORE, Coaching Ourselves raising everyone. Um, all three of these groups or versions of these groups have been really popular in past years and so we're excited to bring them back again. Everyone who joins a virtual think tank not only gets to work in this really special intensive group throughout the year, but you also get a complimentary full year subscription to our study series. So let's move to that next. Our study series is a series of 12 online interactive learning sessions. I prefer not to call them webinars because to me those sound really boring and not at all like what we do. Um, we bring together amazing, inspiring educators from both our EdCollab family and special guests. And uh, after surveying this past year's participants, everyone seems as over the moon about this series as we have been. Um, so we're really looking forward to next year. The schedule for next year will be uh, the 12 study series will happen about once or twice a month between October and May. All of them will happen on a Wednesday at either 11 a.m. Eastern or many more happen at 6 p.m. Eastern. Those two times were the ones that were most preferred by our members this past year, and also take into account that we not only have many educators here in the United States, but also around the world. If though you aren't able to attend a study series live, all of the series sessions are recorded and available for 30 days for everyone who is a registered member. So you're able to learn along with us live and interact with amazing speakers, um, or you can watch on demand in the comfort of your own home or school or wherever you are um, as often as you'd like. So now to 2016-2017 and our brand new lineup. So our study series this year is best described as the year of joy. Uh, in fact, that's the way we're starting it off. Uh, October 5th is our very first session where Joellen McCarthy and I will be leading a topic, year of joy, little practices to bring big energy and joy to your learning community. Um, then I'm excited about our year to come in November. Donalyn Miller, the book whisperer, and Chad Everett will be doing a session on getting readers really reading for real. In December, we have sessions by Dana Stokowiak, Catherine Hale. I'll be returning with Roz Linder to talk about writing with voice. Um, then as the new year comes around in January, we have a session on differentiating for all your readers with Heather Rocco and Brian Sweeney. And then we welcome special guests, Kate Roberts and Maggie Beatty Roberts, who will be discussing ways of using tools in your classroom to help kids work happily. Um, February brings some special guest sessions with Lisa Eckholt and Carrie Yates co-presenting on a topic that is so important and one that I need right now called Dare to Confer Imperfectly, Simple Moves to Keep Your Practice Thriving. And then Sarah Cater and Antero Garcia will be co-presenting a session on moving students from consumers of technology to becoming real creators of technology. We'll then move ourselves to March. It's hard to think about March. Um, it's a full year away, but we'll think about March of next year. Early March, uh, Chantal Francois and Elizabeth Lacey will be talking about making assessments more meaningful. It's, it's that kind of year where many of us are moving into testing season and they will spark our energy and joy in remembering and creating ways of finding 
more authentic assessments for our students and ourselves. Um, then Kristen Zemke and Pernille Rip will be presenting in mid-March on being digital citizens, uh, work that we can do to help our students learn to stay safe, but also to take action and to be real advocates online, to live as not just citizens of the world, but digital citizens as well. And then the end of our year, uh, we'll have two sessions in May. Kathy Collins is a special guest who will be joined with the EdCollab's own Christy Moratz, and they'll do a session called Finishing Strong and Independent, Support Children to Carry On with Literacy and Learning Through End of the Year Inquiry and Projects. And then uh, as a really special end to the year, those of you who are members of this year's study series know that the final session is called Ending the Year with Joy, led by Amy Ludwig Vanderwater. And so uh, one thing we thought would be fun is to create a tradition where the last session of every study series every year will have the same title, but will introduce a new artist or writer or poet or other amazing inspirational person. And so basically we have all of those things in one person, May 10th uh, in 2017, the end of next year's study series. We are delighted to invite Georgia Hurd, um, beloved poet, author, and friend, uh, who will be leading a session called Ending the Year with Joy. So as you can see, it's an amazing lineup that we are really excited about. We do have one more online learning opportunity in the works, but you're going to have to join our mailing list. It's top secret right now, but it'll be coming out soon. Um, one last thing for online learning opportunities. We will soon be adding the ability to give the gift of learning. Uh, you'll be able to purchase, if you'd like, a gift certificate that a teacher that you adore could uh, use towards the purchase of a study series subscription or one session or a think tank. Um, we thought it, was, it would be a nice way to give the gift of learning and love to others. Then, of course, the Educator Collaborative is not only an online organization. We love to be in person with you, too. Um, this summer, we're doing a number of on-site institutes uh, across the country with schools and districts. Uh, we also, during the year, provide uh, in-person consulting services. We love to work with you and your students in your own classrooms. Um, so you can visit us at our website for any information on all of the exciting offerings that uh, we just can't wait for this next year. So have fun, head on back to uh, the gathering, and thanks for all that you do for kids, for your colleagues, and for this amazing profession.